How do you feel about all this fuss that's being made over you? I think it's kind of fun. <laughs> you really are an exquisite looking young lady. I know you've been told that, but is she a pretty, pretty girl? The entirety of my life, it was, she's a pretty face. Over and over and over and over and over again. And that always just seared me. You just didn't go anywhere that somebody wouldn't know Brooke Shields. The most photographed woman in the world. Iconic American beauty. Object of desire. A sexualized child model. Exploitation. Vulnerable. I was on the cover of Time magazine as the face of that whole era. Who decides that? She was catapulted into the world of adult sexuality. I just always remember thinking, like, I hope she's okay. She was a young girl in an all-adult world. I'm amazed that I survived any of it. Gatekeeping is a major way of how we keep girls under control. It's very much about what women need to do in order to be desirable to straight men. One of the responses to feminism was the sexualization of little girls. You're not going to be traditionally feminine. We'll replace you with little girls. I was struggling to find my own voice. I wasn't told it was important to have agency. I found my confidence and thought I can have my own opinion. Oh, hell no, you're not taking this away from me. I love Brooke's tone about it. We're moving forward in life. When someone like Brooke Shields talks about it, it makes a difference. Young people are just working so hard to live up to these unattainable standards. Long before they can process it. How do you fight a toxic cultural environment? I think everybody has a little like, Brooke Shields narrative stuck in them. Because what happened to her isn't really about her as an individual, it's just about women. I was just born with this face. I wanted to think about the things that could have happened without beauty. Now it's like I'm allowed to be a human being.